All right, Kiki, it's time to unveil to the vlog my Sora wig. Ho, ho, ho. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it's not perfect, but you know, it's Sora enough that it'll work for my Halloween costume. I worked on this for two live streams. Oh God, I did not realize I was on there. I would have cried if that fell. <laughs> yeah, I worked on this for two live streams and it's done. Yay, this is for my Halloween costume. I'm gonna go as Halloween Town Sora. So there's my wig. I'm actually gonna be working on the cosplay a lot in upcoming live streams because I want this done by like, eh, next Tuesday or Wednesday or so. Hopefully sooner rather than later. So if you wanna watch, come on down to the streams. I have a lot left to do for that costume. So there's much to be seen. For tomorrow's stream, so the day this vlog goes up, I'm going to be working on the pumpkin mask that goes over his face, on the side of his face. <laughs> I think I'm gonna paper mache it, so that'll be an adventure. Now, I probably should clean this up immediately, but I am really hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten anything yet today. I just had a black coffee, so I need some food. I'm gonna get this out of the way though. I have to duck under this every time I walk by. Oh. I went too far, I went too far. Oops. I have this leftover chicken that I'm so excited to eat. I made this last night and ate half of it. This is one chicken breast cut in half and it's like a creamy chicken thing. I don't know what to call it. I didn't follow a specific recipe for this. I just kind of threw some stuff together. <laughs> I had to make a quick trip to Sephora to get more foundation and the Disney store is right beside Sephora. So naturally I went inside. I was actually looking for their 90s collection, but they don't have anything for that. It might be online only. I don't know, but I had to get this Marie cup. Look at it. So cute. Marie is one of my faves and it came with a little spoon. <gasps> So I'm gonna make myself a little drink in my new cup. <laughs> now I need to clean up all my mess. Where's the brush? I'm gonna brush my hair onto the floor and vacuum it up. Well, I scooped a lot of the hair into here. I was gonna use this hair to cover up tracks where needed. There are a few spots, especially on this side, where you definitely see right through the wig. You, you can see the white of the head, but I don't really wanna bother trying to fill that. It's not even like lace that's showing, but there is a little strip of lace on this one. It's literally just a hole. And I'm like, I don't wanna deal with that. It's fine, it looks fine. I'm still gonna set it aside and keep it in case I change my mind, but as of now, I am not going to bother with that. And if any of you are wondering, why are you putting in so much work for your Halloween costume? Like, what are you doing that's so special? I mean, I intend to potentially wear this more than once. It's not like it's a one and done kind of deal, but I am going to Disneyland for Halloween. And so I'm going to the Mickey's Halloween party on Halloween and you can wear costumes at that event. And so I am dressing up. <laughs> it's the perfect place to dress up as Sora is at Disneyland. So I'm doing it. So yes, I'm bringing this wig with me on the airplane. <laughs> I'm just gonna have it as my carry on, I think. I could potentially also wear that, the outfit to TwitchCon, but I'm just paranoid of either ruining the wig or getting the outfit really dirty or like having to hand wash the shirts and stuff because it's gonna smell like deodorant and armpit and stuff so yeah and I might just get sweaty so I might wear it at TwitchCon but I'll definitely be wearing it at Disneyland and I'm gonna bring my stuff in case I need to do touch-ups so I should probably keep this all together okay I'm sweeping it exactly where I walk past it all Jesus. <laughs> I'll put this in the other room too I'm really proud of how the wig came out. Like it's not perfect, but honestly it's better than what I thought it was gonna look like. Cause that's the part of the outfit I was most nervous about doing because it's it's styling a wig. I've never done that before and I thought it would be a nightmare. And it did take a long time, but it wasn't that bad. So now I'm gonna continue filming a video I've been working on. I worked on it yesterday and I worked on it. Oh, I need to sweep up the floor, so. <laughs> I worked on it. Uh, like a few weeks ago. It was still September when I was working on it. It was gonna be like a really early spooky video and then it just 
got pushed back and I'm finally finishing it. It's the ghost tells me what to draw video and I use a ghost hunting app and the words it spits out to draw something. So today is the coloring for that because I have all the sort of intro and leading up stuff done and kind of like a miniature ghost hunt and I have it all sketched out and whatnot. So today is coloring with Copics. It feels like it's been forever since I used my Copics. Do I even remember how to use them? I don't know. <laughs> Who are you and why are you suddenly on my desk? Back to the costume thing. If you don't know about Kingdom Hearts or you weren't sure which Sora I was being, it's the Halloween Town Sora. So this is what he looks like. And that's the outfit I'm doing. Yeah. So I have the wig done, woo! <laughs> and then I'm doing the mask in the next dream like I mentioned. And I also want to focus on the wings soon. I mean, I kind of want to get the top made first, but I can think about it while I think of how I'm going to do the wings. I might not have this little cape. We'll see. But yeah, I think it'll be fun. The only thing I'm currently missing is contact lenses, but they're on their way. So I'm just realizing something. <laughs> if I'm going to paper mache the mask tomorrow in the stream, I can't actually paint it or anything in the stream because it obviously has to dry like at least overnight so do i want to paper mache it tonight maybe and then tomorrow i can do the sanding the painting and all that because that's probably going to take longer than the paper mache -ing. yeah i think i will attempt that right now i just don't know if we have newspaper i'm so unprepared <laughs> this tutorial i'm looking at just uses mod podge it's not even like a paper mache recipe like usually it's like flour and water and stuff i could probably use this this is like newspaper right Maybe. What? All right, that's not what we need for the mask. Maybe like one of these. I had foam brushes that I kept forever, never used them, but I was like, well, maybe someday I'll use them. And eventually I finally got rid of them, except for a couple I kept, but now I can't find them. And like, <sighs> Of course, it's after I finally get rid of something that I finally need it. Mm. I'll just use this regular brush and try to not wreck it. I mean, it's not the prettiest of brushes to begin with. I mean, I guess it doesn't have to get too big. Like, this already is fairly large. I probably could have got a smaller bowl to put it in. I mean, I do want it to be fairly flat, though. Yeah, maybe. bowl then because this one's gonna be a bit big. Jiggle and wiggle a little bit. I know this is way too big, but it's because I'm gonna map out what I'm cutting out later, and there's like little devil horns. I'm basically just making it huge so I can cut out the shape when it's dry. Hopefully it dries in time for the stream. Look at that. Well, aren't you cute? That's not the floor. That's the side of the desk. Are you a gravity cat? Walking on walls? Oh, yes. Now we just wait. She walks on walls. She's a gravity cat. Kiki, shut up. <laughs> I tried to make a phone call. Me. What are you doing? Kiki. Hi, this is Sam. How can I help? Hi, I'm calling because I got an email saying that I have a package ready for pickup, but there was no delivery attempt, and I don't want to go all the way to the UPS center to pick it up. Um, may I have the info and all these numbers? One Z. No, I wanted it delivered to the house. Sure, I can go ahead and request the package to be delivered again back to your home address. Your package will be delivered within one to two business days, okay? 
Okay. Awesome, thank you so much. Stupid UPS gives me an email. They're like, your package is ready to pick up. And I'm like, but you didn't even attempt to deliver it. Like you look at the tracking and it's just like arrived in Richmond. They're like, now come and get it. I'm like, I'm not going all the way to Richmond to pick up that package. Those are the contact lenses, I think, for my cosplay. So they said it'd be delivered in one to two business days. So I might not get it till next week because it's already Thursday. Like it's not even, oh, go to your nearest UPS store to pick it up. It's like, go all the way to another city to pick it up. I'm like, no, I paid for delivery. I want delivery. I'm vlogging myself watching Joy vlog herself watching my vlog. <laughs> so I'm not quite done my art, so I'll have to finish it off tomorrow, but it shouldn't be too bad. And I want to update you on the balloon. I think it will dry in time. The outside is fairly hard already, so yeah, it should be interesting. Hopefully sanding it isn't too much of a hassle because there are these bubbles in the paper that were really hard to smooth out. So hopefully it's not too much of a pain in the butt to sand it all down. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave the art and go watch some Haunting of Hill House with Christian because he just got back from work. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. So I'm going to apply for the next fan expo but I just don't know. I'm trying to decide how many tables I want. I feel like one and a half is the perfect size because if I'm gonna have an extra button case next time like where am I gonna fit everything especially if I want my big display but because the tables are more expensive at FanX 